welcome to our reading. But before that, let's pray for you. Let's bow our head and feel the presence of today. Water of light and thank you for giving me a mind that can know and a heart that can love. Help me to keep learning every day of my life, no matter what the subject may be. Let me be convinced that all knowledge leads to you, and let me know how to find you and love you, all the things you have made. Encourage me when the studies are difficult and when I am tempted to give up. Lighten me when my brain is slow and help me to grasp the truth held out to me. Grant me the grace to put my knowledge to you in building the kingdom of God on earth so that I may enter the kingdom of God in heaven. So again, class, welcome to our reading class. So for today's lesson class, we will be dealing about the marketing. But before that, let us explain first what is marketing. So marketing class can be defined as the act of creating, maintaining, and expanding a demand for a specific product or service. Again, marketing can be defined as the act of creating, maintaining, and expanding a demand for a specific for a specific product or service. So marketing class is the activity set of institutions and processes for creating, communicating, delivering, and exchanging offerings that have value for customers, clients, partners, and society at large. So next one, we will be dealing about the marketing. So the marketing class can be explained as the efforts made by a company to reduce consumption of a product. It is the use of advertising to decrease the demand for a product that is in short supply. So basically class, any attempt that is made to discourage consumers from buying a certain product is called the marketing. Again, basically class, any attempt that is made to discourage consumers from buying certain product is called the marketing. This one is a very good example. What is this class? As you can see on the picture, we have the Five Star Hotel. So let us, let us explain the concept of the marketing with some example with this one. So a very common example of the marketing is followed by Five Star Hotels. So that aspire to maintain exclusivity right from having two-wheeler parking lots at a distance to having impeccably dressed guests associates to the high-priced menu. So the common man from using their services and thus maintain their exclusivity. Next one. We are going to stop advertising our product in media targeted to children, the smoking one or the cigarettes. So we need to promote responsible use of our product. Another example of the marketing would be the efforts of Tata Group to discourage consumers from buying Tata Nano. Since the demand for Tata Nano far outweighed the supply, Tata Group completed stop to promotion of Tata Nano and rather started promoting other products by the Tata Group. So similar was the case when customers were discouraged by Maruti from buying the Maruti Stilio and rather for a Maruti A-Star which was recently launched. So what are the importance of the marketing? First, the supply cannot meet the demand. Next, resources, especially natural resources, must be con conserved. Next one we have, cost of advertising for the product is extremely high. Price selling in a particular locality is extremely high. So the main reason why company used to the market is that class they want to promote their other products. So what is the reason? Very good. They want to promote other product. So and the company is not having so much profit for that. So that's why they are having a product for the sale of that product. Next one. What are the types of demarketing? So as you can see, we have the general demarketing, 
elective demarketing, and ostensible demarketing. Again, what are the three types of demarketing? We have the general demarketing, selective demarketing, and ostensible demarketing. So first, let's talk about the general demarketing. What is general demarketing class? General demarketing is then when a company wants to demarket its product for one and all. This occurs when the government seeks to persuade citizens to limit their consumption of resource. Again, general demarketing is then when a company wants to demarket its product for one and all. It is always done, class, when a firm wants to reduce the entire demand for consumption for the product. It is always done when a firm wants to reduce the entire demand for consumption for the product. This one is the example for the marketing. As you can see, there is tobacco or the cigarette and the whisk. So, example of the general demarketing can be state and central governments demarketing alcohol and cigarettes for the entire population. So, this demarketing strategy class also implemented when a product is deemed to be at risk to a public health. So, especially when a young doing or drinking alcohol and cigarettes, right? It is at risk. So, it uh, it will be demarketed by the group. So next one, let's talk about the selective demarketing. What is selective demarketing? So selective demarketing is when firms target a select class of consumers and aim their demarketing strategies at them. Businesses will generally use selective demarketing on group of customers that have that has proven less goal. So some banks, for example, is the bank. So some banks, for example, offer specialized services for customers with large balances. So they will offer their uh, uh, they will offer their services for the people who have a large balances. While the low profit customers must queue for a uh, for a return at the end. So next one. The electoral state builder the marketing its project to maintain exclusivity at the snob value associated with the product. Example of another example of selective demarketing can be an elite real estate. So you can last type as the ostensible demarketing. So what is ostensible demarketing class? Ostensible demarketing is the phenomenon of creating the artificial shortage to stimulate the appetite of consumers. It is exemplified by situations in which a business withholds the availability of a product to heighten sale. As you can see, there are many toys, right? So many toys can be gift, especially during holiday season, right? So a limited supply of goods is created so that consumers start stacking these hard-to-get products. So this open up light to hide and toys during Christmas season. As the difficulties consumers face in purchasing, the item increases its value in their eyes. Therefore, the demand is actually raised rather than lowered. So they are having a high price. So a very good example of ostensible demarketing is also a BMW. Uh, it occurred with BMW way back in 1997 when it restricted its supply in the entire UK market. So some companies that are seeking to create an upscale image to market their products by lifting the scope of their advertising. For example, those jewelries tobacco or the cigarettes and the whisk or alcohol. So we are done with the types of the marketing. So let's proceed with the kinds of strategies and that they use in the marketing. So first we have bait and switch marketing again. Bait and switch marketing. So bait and switch marketing firms market one product in such a way that consumers end up buying another profitable product by the same firm. So this kind of marketing strategy is when firms market one product 
in such a way that consumer end up buying another profitable by the same frame. However, this kind of demarketing is not considered legal. Again, this kind of uh, demarketing is not considered legal. So next one, we have the price discriminating the marketing. Again, price discriminating the marketing. So when firms implement price discriminating strategy, they create transaction costs that aims to discourage consumers to seek the lowest price. Again, they discourage consumer to seek the lower price. Last, we have the short outage the marketing. What about the short outage the marketing? What is this? So, short outage the marketing is when firms create an artificial shortage of their product. Again, when firms create an artificial shortage of their product, they have offers where they guarantee delivery at a few eight. So, okay, as a matter of recapitulation or a summary, what are the three types of uh, the marketing? So, we have general demarketing, ostensible demarketing, and selective demarketing. So, what about the kinds of demarketing strategies? First, we have the bait and switching demarketing, price discriminating demarketing, and stack outage demarketing. So, have you learned in our session today? I hope that you learned something from today's lesson. For your activity, Kindly answer pages 14 and 15 in your reading book, okay? Thank you for listening. Goodbye!